This video will demonstrate how to perform a primary auto count search within Live Count. To begin, first launch the drawing canvas and then click the auto count button in the top toolbar or use the associated keyboard shortcut. With the auto count side panel open, click the new search button. Now, Locate the area that you wish to use in your search, and then click and drag to box in that area. You may define a name for your search, as well as the confidence level. A lower confidence level will return more results with less accuracy, whereas a higher confidence value will return fewer results with greater accuracy. You may also define the rotation used when searching this area, original, 90 degree rotations, or custom rotations. This allows you the greatest control as you can define a start and end degree, as well as the intervals to search within your start and end points. For this example, I will use original rotation. If you are unsatisfied with the search area returned, click Edit Selection, which will return you to the canvas and allow you to redefine the search area. Once you're ready, click the Search button and the process will begin. The name you have defined will populate the right hand side along with a progress spinner during the search. Once the search has completed, the results will be displayed. To review the returned search results, click the name of your search or the results shown to the right. You will be presented with a grid of all the returned search results. To select and deselect results drawn, you have many options. You can individually select and deselect results that you wish to be drawn or not drawn, or you may use the slider at the bottom and set a confidence level. So by setting this to 97%, I have deselected all results that fall below the 97% threshold and all those above 97% remain selected. You can also select a layer and style that you wish to apply to the drawn results. If you are unsatisfied with the results returned, you can rerun the search by clicking the Edit Search button. You can define a new name, confidence, and rotation values. Please note that you cannot redefine the search area unless you run a new search. I'm going to click Cancel to return to the previous screen. Draw and Continue draws the selected results and then updates the grid. You see our count was reduced to 96 uncounted search results. Draw and close draws the results and then closes the auto count search results dialog. If you wish to visually review the auto count search results, click Review on Drawing. You will be placed back on the canvas along with annotations which correspond to each search result. Annotations, which are shown in red, indicate that the result is not selected and will not be drawn. You can change this state by clicking on the annotations, which changes them from red to green. Additionally, you can click them again to deselect those search results. By clicking Draw and Continue, those results will be drawn. 
you will see that the color of these annotations has now turned to yellow. This indicates that a point exists at this location. You cannot change this annotation state to say green as this restricts duplicate points from being placed at the same location. As you review your drawing, you may see areas which were not included in your AutoCount search due to the parameters. If you wish to include those results, toggle on Add Miss Symbols. You'll be placed in a mode where you are able to click Areas, which will then add to your uncounted search results. So in this example, I've added three additional results, and then I will toggle off Add Miss Symbols, which updates my count to 94 uncounted search results. As we saw before, you can select the layer, style, and then draw and continue or draw and close. As you draw the annotations, the search results on the right hand side will be updated to display the count of uncounted or undrawn search results. To delete an auto count search result, simply click the trash can icon and the search will be removed from your list on the right. And lastly, if you only want to search within a specific area of your drawing, you can do so within a workspace. I have created a workspace around these eight A2 elements. On initiation of a new auto count search, I now have an additional option to search in the workspace only or search the entire drawing. So I will go ahead and search for A2. And the primary search has been started. With the search now complete, we can see that eight results were returned, which is consistent with the eight elements contained within the workspace.